Bad news for Beetlejuice fan, Representative Lauren Boebert. A new poll shows that she would lose her race to represent Colorado's 4th Congressional District to a Democrat. Ooh. Ouch. At least according to one internal poll funded by her potential challenger, Ike McCorkle. Now, the survey by Gravis Marketing put McCorkle, a retired U.S. Marine, on 38% of the vote against 31% for Bobert. That is a obviously a, a, a difference of seven points, with another 30% undecided. So 30% undecided, that's huge, could go either way. Uh, another caveat, of course, is that this is a very small sample size poll. In total, about 439 likely voters in the district were questioned. So, like I said, fairly small sample size. But still, this could be enough to make Republicans a little nervous for voting for Bobert in the upcoming primary election. In fact, McCorkle is out there saying, hey, this proves that we could flip the seat. Mm. In fact, he posted on X, we see these numbers, uh, what our campaign has known for months. Among the Democratic candidates, our campaign is the only choice to beat Greg Lopez in the special election and Lauren Boebert in November. So now Lauren Boebert, look, I've said before, she, she, yes, she could win the primary because she still has a primary to go through. Uh, in fact, she's got a decent chance, more than a decent chance. Uh, she has a Trump endorsement. And yes, she does have a lot of people that are against her. And she has polling like this. Once again, another small sample size from uh, a Kaplan strategy survey that's of 558 likely Republican primary voters in the 4th Congressional District conducted back in February, they found that out of seven Republican candidates, Boebert had a 32 percent, uh, or had 32 percent of the vote, way ahead of Mike Lynch in second, who trailed at just 7 percent. Yikes. That said, there was another poll around the same time that showed that about 46 percent of Colorado voters are like, we're not in favor of the whole carpetbagging thing, because she comes in and she doesn't know the district. So that is working against her. But the Trump endorsement is working for her. And so eh, she's got a chance. That said, not a guaranteed chance. Straw poll of around 180 Republican GOP debate attendees conducted after uh, an event in Holy Oak, Colorado, put Boebert third in the race behind Logan County Commissioner Jerry Sonnenberg, a more traditional Republican and state lawmaker Ted Harvey. So this is quite the race to watch. You got Beetlejuice Bobert, who has scandal after scandal after scandal uh, involving herself, a movie theater, her date, <laughs> as well as her husband uh, and her son going on crime sprees. Uh, I mean, it's just an absolute mess. It's a nightmare. <laughs> and so you've got that and the fact that she did Carpet bag her happy ass all the way over to the 4th District from the 3rd, abandoning her, her own voters. Um, and yeah, that's she's having a tough time. Okay. A little bit of a tough time. <laughs> it's a tough sell. But it's still possible that Republican voters might buy it. But who knows? Perhaps this poll, and it is only one poll, but this poll could be enough to alter the perception of the race and make people who are not decided yet think, ooh, are we really going to take the risk of electing Bobert, right? Or uh, I should say choosing Bobert in our primary to run against a Democrat when it's very likely, or at least very possible at this moment that she could lose. And we'd end up being represented by a Democrat, going from super ultra conservative Ken Buck this is not a purple district. This is a very deep red district. You have polling where a Democrat beats the potential Republican nominee. Oh, oh no. Oh, that would be a bad situation. Can't let that happen. The Republicans uh, have to be saying that. Okay. Oh my God. Their hair, their hair is probably on fire. We got to do something about this and make sure that Lauren Boebert does not hand over this very red district to a Democrat. So maybe it might make voters think twice about putting this relatively safe conservative district in jeopardy just to elect someone 
as flawed as Bobert. 